Farm Basics is brought to you by the Liberty Link Trait and Ignite Herbicide from Bayer. The most reliable weed management solution, Liberty Link and Ignite are the link to efficient row crop production and sustainable weed management. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about a very important part of plants called the leaf cuticle. Whenever we talk about specific parts on plants, we always get a bunch of emails of, what are you talking about? I never knew that happened. I've been raising crops and gardens my whole life. And here's something that makes a huge, huge difference when it comes to trying to control weeds or just grow successful crops. Well, basically what it comes down to is there is a waxy coating on the outside of leaves and that will get thicker as conditions are hot and dry. So the longer that conditions are hot and dry, the thicker that waxy leaf cuticle becomes. And the reason why it gets a little bit thicker is it's about preventing moisture loss out of the plant. So whether you realize this or not, plants all absorb moisture just from the air and they also release a lot of moisture. They're constantly kicking moisture out into the air and if you have very arid conditions then the leaf cuticle thickens to prevent excess moisture loss. Well you see different types of plants growing in arid environments and different types of plants growing in tropical environments. And a lot of times you see a difference in the thickness of the leaf and the waxiness of the leaf. And this has a lot to do with it. Depending on what types of moisture conditions, plants can adapt somewhat, but you can't take a desert plant and put it in a tropical environment or vice versa. And this is one of the reasons why. Okay, and one of the issues that comes up when you have a thicker leaf cuticle, so let's say it's been hot and dry and the leaf develops that wax on the outside of the leaf. With herbicides, if we're going to try to control the weed, we're going to try to kill that weed, we've got to penetrate the leaf. Well, with that wax on the outside, it takes different what they call spray adjuvants. So instead of using a non-ionic surfactant, I might use a crop oil concentrate or a methylated seed oil to help burn through that waxy leaf surface and get into the plant and get weed control. Well, really, we're spraying herbicides for weed control with water. And when you're putting water onto a waxy surface, just like the wax on your car, that water is just going to run right off. Yep. So you have to have something that's going to help it stick first of all, and then penetrate through that cuticle in order to get it. So for farmers, if the spring has been really hot and dry, it's completely different when we talk about weed control than if it's been cooler and wetter, because now if it's cooler and wetter, there's no reason for the plants to really prevent moisture loss, so those cuticles are so thin. But when it's been hot and dry, the plants have a huge defense mechanism that you have to try and break through. So once again, leaf cuticles, even though it might seem like a minor issue and maybe you've never even heard about this before, it's a major issue when it comes to weed control on farms all across the world. Ah, Brian, but are there leaf cuticle issues with our Weed of the Week? We'll show you how to control this tough weed coming up later in the show.